Suppose Micah Micah's favorite brand of cereal is running a special where 20% of the boxes contain a prize. Now she really wants that prize. So if her mother buys six boxes of the cereal over the next few months, what is the probability that Micah will get a prize? Eh, good question. So we can work this out with the formulas, uh, but let's go try this with simulation. So to solve this problem using simulation, we need to be able to assign a, um, numbers to outcomes. Now, each box should have a 20% chance of, being a, of having a prize and an 80% chance of not having a prize. So one possible assignment would be, let's say the numbers 1 and 2 would be prize, and then numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, the other 80%, be no prize. So we can go to a place like uh, random.org. Here we go. And just if you scroll down, say integer, uh, integer generator, we can tell them that we want to generate, you know, let's say 40 numbers between one and 10. And then there's our numbers. And then from there, we can count how many times do we get a one or a two divided by the total number the t by the 40 in this case. Anyway, this is uh, previously generated, and you can see that in this case, I end up with 7 out of the, uh, what do I have, 40? 7 out of 40 is right around 20%, so this is pretty much what I expect. And then you can do it again and again if you want. Um, in MICA simulation, one trial will consist of six boxes of cereal, and therefore a trial will require six digits, you know, one for each box. Um, and then let's going to repeat this for 20 trials. So therefore, we'll need a, uh, 20 sets of six digits. So all together, we'll need to generate 120 digits, then have a display in 20 columns. Look at back to go back so in this case for random not work I'm going, to, I'm going to generate 120 numbers 1 through 10 I'm going to put them in 20 columns and here is one example in a moment there we go okay all right going back to the slides uh, here's what I had from the slides uh, Previously, I generated 20 sets uh, from random.org, and if you notice that, 16 of them were ones and twos. Those are in the uh, green hi uh, highlighted there. Some of the boxes I even had, some of the uh, sets I had two or three ones or twos. So altogether, 16 of the 20 uh, sets had prizes, so that comes out to 80%. That would suggest that if her mother was to buy six boxes of cereal, there was about an 80% chance of getting a prize. Another way we could have done simulation is with your calculator. And the way you do that is if you go to the math button right there in the left middle of the calculator, click math, and then move to the probability menu, you'll see random integer or rand int random integer what you do is it'll give you the lower and upper so if we pick numbers between 1 and 10 my lower be 1 upper 10 and let's say you know um, one set would be six boxes so let's say n is six I paste and now there are six numbers there in this case I end up with um, one prize. There's one, two, and then all the others are not prizes. So there's one prize in this set. Hit enter again. This one, again, there's a prize. There's a one, so one prize. Hit again. End up with there's a prize to three prizes. Woo. All right. 
Most changes make a little more complicated. Suppose the probability of interest is not 20%, but rather 28%. So if I was to use random.org, how can I generate digits to simulate success and failure? Well, one possible assignment would be, instead of going from 1 to 10, let's go from 1 to 100. And then anything between 1 and 28 would be success, and everything else would be a failure. So, if I want to generate 120 numbers, it'd be let's see, between 1 and 100. I get the numbers. And then every time I'm between 1 and 28, so this one, the first one is a 15, that's a success, success, then failure, failure, I don't, success, excuse me, failure, and so on. And then what you do is just count how many of these, how many of these randomly generated numbers are between 1 and 28. If I wanted to use my calculator, again, I would show the math. Choose probability menu, go to ran int. And then I would choose my lower to be one, upper to be a hundred, and then however many you want to generate. I'll just say five. And generate, uh, you see in this case, there's two 28s. Uh, now I got 13, 6, and 2. Here's a 3, and so on. You can keep generating integers. If I was to use note cards, um, the slow way, um, I would first write the numbers of 1 through 100 on 100 cards. Have fun with that. Shuffle them thoroughly and then draw a card. Any number between 1 and 28 would be considered a success. Then put the card back, shuffle again, draw another card, put the card back, shuffle again, draw another card. Each time would be a 28% probability. And again, anything between uh, above 28 would be a failure.